Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And if you have four wives, eh, it doesn't mind. I mean, the stage can hold more. So invite your friends if you are a Muslim. I noticed in the chat there is somebody, his name is Kurd. And he is so excited to call me. But uh, Mr. Kurd, I am in Skype and I don't see even a text message from you. So can you tell me please what's your name in Skype so I can see where we can find you? Let me know, please. <clears throat> you know, sometimes I see uh, some Muslims are so excited to call me, but I don't find them. I don't know. I mean, this guy, he was saying the same when I uh, I saw him after I finished my stream. And now I see him before I start my stream. Look like he is a person who challenged me only when I am not streaming, either at the end or in the beginning before I start. So, uh, Kurd, my Skype is open, I don't see you. So please just text me and I will call you immediately. We cannot wait, my friend, to see. Uh, somebody told me that you have an extraordinary conversation with me. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> so we will give you a time to give me a, a text. It doesn't take two seconds, you know, by the way. But maybe because you are slow. And the internet of Allah is so slow. And, uh, you know, yeah, because I don't see you. Are you there, my friend? He stopped even texting. Okay, heart attack. All right. So you know, as long Mr. Kurd he you know decide to <clears throat> you know take the first mule and uh, escape to the heaven, uh, we go to our topic. You see, uh, like I said to myself, I was working in my book, and uh, I was reviewing some verses. The translation I'm doing. And then, you know, like when I, I did read the, uh, this verse, I said, why don't go like take a break and make uh, this uh, a video about this verse. This is a chapter two, chapter two, which is the cow chapter uh, in the Quran and verse number 30. <clears throat> now you see the Muslims here, always you have to add bracket between things because the Quran is so clear to the point you have to add a bracket, tons of brackets. Sometimes the bracket is more than the verse itself. So, uh, and remember when your Lord said, I mean, do you see how silly this, how stupid even translation? Allah saying to Muhammad, remember, why well, Muhammad was there? Like, you know, when somebody says, like, do you remember that's mean this guy was there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you remember? And Muhammad, like, uh, you know what, Allah, according to my uh, ID, I'm just not even, you know, 60 years old. So remember what? Oh, you remember what I did, uh, what I said to Adam and what I said to the angels? Oh, Allah, at that time, Adam himself wasn't created yet. So what do you mean, do you remember? These? What is this? But anyway, it's like, a, you know, it's a comic story, a cartoon. And by the way, the site for the cartoon, the one I told you about, let me, let me post the link for you. Do me a favor, please, all of you. Don't save the link for the site. Save the images, put them all in one file. All of them, put them in one file. Fantastic cartoon because this link might disappear one day and then you will not find the things. And if you can publish it again, <clears throat> please don't hesitate. So this is the link for the uh, for this cartoon. This is a real cartoon, really, really nice, nicely done. The one who did it, he deserve a prize. So going back to our topic and later for those who they will hear the video and they will say which link where, you know, my friend activate the chat so you can see the link. Always I see people saying, like I say, okay, I posted the link, and then they will say, "Where is the link?" And he make the comment in this, in the, you know, like in the comment section. Activate the chat so you can see the link. All right, okay. So now, Allah is saying to Muhammad, "Wa qala rabbuka lil malaika." Okay, so uh, said to the angels. Okay, so where is the word "remember" from? From where? Doesn't make sense. This "remember." So this is a silly translation. Let us say that. Okay. Uh, because he's speaking to the angels, so remember when your Lord said to the angels, what Muhammad had to do with remember? Allah, he just told him the story. 
Like there, if there's a verse before this verse, third in this first verse. <laughs> okay, he said, Allah, I am about to place my caliph in the earth. <clears throat> you know, uh, the translation here says caliph. The word caliph, khalifa, actually it is Arabic word. Khalifa is somebody who is in, going to inherit something, you know? Like when you inherit, uh, you know, it, it can be, usually it's used to inherit authority. Like when Muhammad, he died, and he, you know, he was the leader of the gang. So then the, the, the big, the gangs of Muhammad, they were fighting each other and they kill each other over who was going to be the caliphate. And if you read the Islamic history, which is very disgusting history, you will see almost every single caliphate killed by one of the other caliphate to take his place as a caliphate. Even the grandsons of Muhammad, the Muslim, they slaughter them because who want to be the caliphate. So this is a very hateful society and they hate each other to death. So don't don't feel bad if they, if they are violent with you. They are violent against each other from the beginning. So Islam was corrupt from the first day. You see, Muhammad, he died right away. They are killing each other because it was not a religion. It was a gang system. So when Allah, he said, and this is the question for the Muslims. When Allah, he said to the angels, I'm going to place a caliphate. But if the earth just created, Adam was the caliphate of who? Because caliphate is inheritance of something after somebody. Who was there before Adam? Secondly, Allah did not create Adam in the earth. Allah created Adam in the heaven. And to prove that, you will see a few later, Allah he says to Adam, live in the in the garden. You know, some Christian they might say, well. Uh, the garden is on earth. This is in the Bible. In, the, in Islam, don't mix things up. The garden of Adam and Eve, it is in the Bible, in the earth. But in Islam, it is in the sky. So when Shaitan, he just whispered to them, uh, Allah, he said to them, get down. You see the word get down? So Allah sent them down from the sky, which is supposed to be the heaven, down to the earth. Get down. But maybe there is somebody who was before that time uh, on the earth. Let us say we have a Muslim. Maybe this is Kurdish guy. I don't know. <clears throat> Just tell me why you don't answer me. Why? This guy is almost going to cry. Because you cannot call me. I have to call you first. I have, you know, I have to accept you in my contact so you can call me. Let me call you, Abdul. Why you don't call me? Why? Why you don't call me? Here we go, we are calling you. Hello? Hello? Yes. We are live on air, go ahead. Hello? Yes, hello, hello. Is this uh, CP? Yes. You are live on air. Okay, how come? <clears throat> okay, how come you're, you're, you're... Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure it's you. Hello? My friend, are we going to speak the whole day? Just you say hello and I say hello? Tell me what do you no, want? No, I just... So this is Christian Prince. You want, oh, don't you know my voice? Yeah, I do know your voice. Okay, so what you are asking? I've been trying to uh, contact you for so long. Oh, this is the first time I can show you. Even your text has appeared to me only once. Now. No, no, I've been trying in every other way to, to contact you, actually. Oh, like there's other ways? Uh, like what? <laughs> yeah, but it's like, because you only speak to, like, um, like Muslims, that's it. Well, aren't there's you a Muslim? No aren't you a Muslim? No, I'm an ex-Muslim. Ah, oh, ex-Muslim. Why are you are giving me a hard time, my friend? You change, you, cause I can't get, uh, I can't get hold of you. It's so okay. hard to get hold of you. No problem. So what do you want to share just, with us, my friend? I just, I just, uh, I just want to say that, uh, well, I, I, I watched a lot of your videos before, but previously, I, you wasn't the one that actually converted me to Christianity, it was myself, which I read and everything, uh, the beginning, because uh, uh, I was, uh, I was uh, um, what do you call it, I was uh, very religious uh, mm. to Islam, okay. but, uh, but I found my way, uh, like, uh, 10 years ago. Uh, 
But uh, I recently had. So I have not. I have nothing to do with it then, right? <laughs> no, no. I just you have you have something to do. I've been listening to you because you're the only one that that shares a lot of uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. It's, it's really no, an it's honor okay. to speak to you. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I was just. Uh, I've been getting some experience. Uh, I even spoke to my. Uh, uh, my uh, I uh, to to a priest here. Okay. Um, uh, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, I got some to to uh, an, an experience from. Uh, like I get a message, you know. Okay. Uh, one time I got. Uh, I was sitting down in in my bed and and I was about to fall asleep and uh, I actually there was a light coming. Like there was a light coming to me. And uh, I heard I heard a beautiful voice, you know, and it gave me a speech. And I'm trying to like understand because you know about Islam the most. Like I, all of the scholars I watch, I don't think I mean, they know as much as you. Uh, I was just wondering if was I hallucinating or not? If I'm hallucinating or I'm not hallucinating? But the message was uh, tell the Muslims that uh, Antichrist is coming and uh, tell them not to follow him. Hell is awaiting him, awaiting them. Well, you know, the message is nothing wrong with it. So we cannot say it is something bad, but you know, this is something personal. Nobody really can tell you uh, where is this message coming from? Maybe because you love the Muslim to be saved because your family, your, you know, your people, they are Muslims. And uh, you are thinking about them, worry about them. So uh, you saw such a, let us say, a vision, or maybe even the Lord He speak to people. Why not? You know. But me myself, I cannot really tell you what, what is the reason. But the message itself, nothing bad with it. It's something wonderful. So we cannot assume that this is something bad, because the message itself is a wonderful message. Yeah, um, but uh, so if if you can just like talk about a little bit of Antichrist in Islamic way, because you know how they say that uh, that Antichrist is coming, right? And uh, yeah, you see, the, the first of all, would, the, the Muslims yeah. when they say there is Antichrist, that is again a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet, because why the Satan will be Antichrist will not be anti-Muhammad. If Muhammad is the greatest, if Muhammad mm -hmm. is the most important prophet. If Muhammad, the most beloved person to the God of Islam, which is Allah, then how Satan is not anti-Muhammad, is not even anti-Allah, is anti-Christ. So here from the anti, you know who is the God, which Shaitan is trying to fight. Shaitan is not against Muhammad, Shaitan is supporting Muhammad. Shaitan is not, you know, totally different from Muhammad. It, it's just another name of the same person. You know, the, the Lord, he says, be aware of us, a prophet they will come to you in a close of a sheep but they are wolves so satan he changed his forms he changed his shape and it's not necessarily about physical shape but it can be uh, any kind of form sometimes he can come to you as a priest too you know there's a priest where there are child molesters those are satanic so uh, satan he is very powerful and he knew how to be you know betray trade uh, into uh, the house of a believer and uh, let us say you are a person who like gambling and he come to you from gambling you like uh, adultery you know he come to you from adultery you like uh, uh, money he, you know he, he will find a way if you are religious what he would do this guy is religious he will come to you from the door of religion so he will come to you using someone like muhammad so you know the, the easiest way for us to know what is the right thing to do is the fruit the messiah said from their fruit you shall know them not from their names not from their religion you know because religion it can be a name a title and there's something underneath always somebody wearing a cross doesn't make him a christian uh, etc so from their fruit you shall know them and muhammad obviously have a satanic fruits everything about him is satanic but as you see here today we are reading quran and you will see muhammad trying to make himself as a sheep by copying some stories from the Bible, but adding his own spice, which is making it stupid and easy for us to expose him. So, the message you hear is good. I'm glad for you that you are out of Islam. I don't know why you left Islam. Maybe you can share with us a little bit. And you know. Yeah. Um. Uh. So I. I. 
uh, to be honest, is it was the story about the Zayd. Uh, I was talking to a sheikh, and uh, uh, he, I was telling him, so how can this be possible? He said, because it's uh, his adopted son. It's not his real son. So I said, so what if if the baby is like, uh, um, like what if if you just find the baby uh, like anywhere you don't know, like you just you raise him like your son, and then after you get married to like this to his wife. Uh, is this possible? He said, yeah, if you're a prophet, well, this is coming from God. And I'm like, what kind of God would, would do something like that? And then he's like, uh, well, our prophet was good, so God wanted like uh, the best for him. So then I said, okay, uh, like, how is that, like, explain a little bit more for me. Like, how can he go and, you know, how when he's seen a little bit of her and then... Uh, he said, uh, what do you call it? SubhanAllah, Qalab al Qulub, right? Yeah, yeah, you made my heart uh, flip for you. Mm. And uh, well, you flirted, it was, which it's like something flirting, you know. And yeah. and uh, after that, uh, where Zaid, he said, I don't like my wife anymore. So, and then, so on. You, you know the story way hundred times mm. more than me, that's for sure. And then he's like, uh, he's like, uh, okay, uh, that, it, that's why there's a verse in the Quran where it says, uh, if you if you adopt a son or anything, call them by their father's name. I don't know if that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like, yeah. So, and, uh, yeah. And then I said, okay, so if you find a baby that doesn't have father or mother and you raise them, who do you call them by? Yeah. So then after that, I, I came home and I started thinking about this so much, you know, just couldn't go in my head. And then uh, I actually, I, I, I announced Islam and I, I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a Muslim anymore. And then until I found Christ. I mean to that. Yeah, you see, Muhammad, look how evil he is. Because he wouldn't have this woman, he forbid adoption. Imagine. Yes. So, yes. so adoption was something noble the Arab they used to do and especially men who cannot have children's they adopt and this is why Muhammad actually it's not him who adopt by the way it was Khadija because Muhammad himself he don't really I don't think he uh, he is the one who cared for such a thing but Khadija she noticed that her husband is not going to have children's and uh, she have only daughters from previous husband now the Muslim they say that at least Fatima was his daughter I believe none of them is his daughters uh, so uh, uh, when they adopted this person and then uh, Muhammad he married this person to Zainab which make it, making it fishy uh, because uh, you know obviously he liked this woman and even the description says that Muhammad uh, th that this is Zainab uh, you know she was the most beautiful woman after married a cop maybe she was white. He is obsessed with white women. So, uh, after you know, uh, uh, after Muhammad he married this man to this uh, woman. Muhammad he visit the man always at his home, obviously when the husband is not there. And the story you are mentioning about when he flirted with her, he the man, uh, he was not there. You know the tradition yeah. of the Arab, and I'm guessing maybe you're an Arab like me, uh, because you speak Arabic. You know, when I'm Kurdish. Yeah. Oh, but you are I Kurdish. Speak, uh, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, you are the one who was, uh, you know, the Kurdish guy. In the chat. Yes. I, no, no, no. Uh, I am the one. Yeah. But I've been. It's like I've been trying to get hold of you because uh, uh, there was only. I said if I can tell my message to to yeah. to, to anyone with yeah, it's all right. Uh, okay. You, no problem. No problem, friend. Yeah. We got you wrong. Anyway, uh, so you know. Uh, uh, you notice that you know Middle Eastern. As long as you are a Kurdish, when you go to a house of somebody, you knock at the door. You don't even stay next to the door. In oh, the of course, yes. You step away from the door, like five, uh, six steps, and if a female she answer, you know she don't open the door. She will speak from behind the door, and she will ask you. She might open the door, like she look, you know, uh, but you don't. You don't go next to the door. You don't get inside the house if the husband is not there. So, and, oh, she, and she will not invite you. But oh, here, Muhammad, because he is a very perverted man, he was trusted to enter the house because simply he is the father, correct? Yes. Yeah. So she allowed him to get in 
because he is the father and the guy the second he got in he started flirting with her now this is the Muslim story of a flirting God knows what else you know I don't believe in the story only flirting you know imagine you have a wife with my respect to your family and then uh, uh, somebody come to your house and he flirt and what the woman she would do if the woman she is decent she will take off her shoe and she will kick him out she will throw her shoe at him and she will kick him out she will scream hey guys this guy is a flirty with me in my house get out of here this is what a good woman would, would do absolutely the wife yes. she did not do anything she waited until her husband came back and she told him that your father was here and he flirted with me she's not upset then the the the, the story in the book it says for fatina zay do you know what fatina mean which means yes. he, he got the attention, yep. you know, like, I got it. Okay, they are cheating on me. So right away, yep. I mean, the guy never complained about his wife. Suddenly, he went to Muhammad and he said to him, uh, please, let me uh, let me divorce her, you know? And look at the hypocrite Muhammad. He said to him, oh, why why you want to divorce her? Why, you know? <laughs> why keep her? <laughs> keep her. The, the hypocrite, uh, five minutes ago, you were flirting with the wife. Now you are asking yeah. the guy why you want to divorce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, this is a. This it's is, not right. Yeah, it's this, not this, right. This is why I quote for you the verse from yeah. the Bible. It says, "From their fruits you shall know them," because you see, if Muhammad is a prophet, you see, if Muhammad was a decent man, let us say, he's acting as a decent man. Muhammad never even act as a decent man. The guy is so exposed, and we are very thankful for the Muslims. Who wrote his life stories even though they are filtered you see if you open Ibn Ishaq you will find that in, in the beginning of the book it says that anything is not suitable for the prophet life blah blah blah, blah it is taken off thrown away so you can imagine how many tens of thousands of stories are thrown away because they don't look good so what they left in the book is what's supposed to look good so if this is look good what about the bad you know yes yeah so uh, yeah, you know, it's disgusting. What about your family, my friend? What what? Uh, I I actually convert them all to Christianity. Wonderful, myself. wonderful. That's yeah, wonderful. I I I spoke to them and I I tried to bring them like the truth. I brought like I I wrote down most of the things, and then I I compared it, and I said you know like uh, our Lord you know he speaks just about peace and love. My and, friend, uh, I, there is no you cannot find anything in 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 in, in the Bible which which it would af offend anyone. I mean, like no, no, actually, in, 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 beautiful, in, in, you know? offend, offend the word offend. I don't agree with you because when you say the truth, always you offend a lot of people. You know, that you when yes, you say the truth, yeah. you will offend. No, no. So the, the, Jesus, he offend many actually, but you know the, the the question is, the one who is offending. Those people do they deserve when Jesus he calls someone hypocrite? Is he a hypocrite or not? To, to make it Absolutely. simple, Absolutely. if I go if I go to your kitchen and your kitchen is smell and dirty, and I say to you 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 know you are dirty, I'm not insulting you. I'm just describing what I saw, right? Yes. yes. This is not an insult. So when Jesus he said to the hypocrite, hypocrite, he's not saying the word to insult. He is describing who they are. When he said the word foolish, they are foolish. When he say the word uh, decent, they are decent. When he say, uh, uh, you know, uh, they have double standard, you know. They, that, so the Messiah, he don't say things to hurt. He's rebuking the bad ones. Muhammad, he do things just for his benefit, especially sexually and money. You will notice that all the stories of Jesus, that Jesus, he never even own, own his own, like a donkey, not a horse. You know, oh, yes. he don't have a house. You don't have a villa. I mean, yeah. imagine if I am today, if I can make a blind man see, how many blind in the world they are willing to give me all the money they have just to make them see, you know? I mean, this is easy. Just put some mud, you know, the, uh, if I'm the Messiah, put some mud in their eyes and bingo, they, they, they can see. So he can be the most powerful. He can make kings come back to, to from death. Uh, he can he can take whatever, what they, you know, they will... They will offer everything. I mean, kings, what bring me back to the, like I won't die. Please stay next to me. So if I die, you you will resurrect me again. So the Messiah never took advantage of anyone. He was not doing his miracle for a benefit of his own, and he was doing everything so they might believe, not they might, you know, just uh, okay. Uh, oh no, I want to show you my powers. It wasn't a short time, you know. 
he is not showing off his uh, how, how powerful he is he do things for a reason and all the reasons are wonderful so we cannot even compare between the, the madness and the faith of Muhammad you know when a man he make a chapter says a woman Allah he make a chapter saying to him it's uh, lawful for you this and this and this and this and this woman and uh, in the top of that a woman she offer herself to the Prophet what kind of God he have such a thing imagine you're sitting in your home and your family around you and then a woman she come and she knock at the door and she said take me baby <laughs> and then you say okay I am a prophet I'm it's lawful for me to take her baby <laughs> you know so this is disgusting you know this is there's no question but you know when you live in a society and as long as you are from the Middle East like me you live in a society where everybody worship this guy nobody even dare to open his mouth if you open your mouth for a second not only you are dead they will burn your life so uh, 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 centuries and centuries and centuries people they speak against Muhammad but nobody they are really to to say it you know like loud and clear but thanks to God now with the internet we can go to the heart of the Middle East and what they can do about it nothing you know you know, yes. uh, about yeah. 12 years ago I was trying to make it a, a satellite TV uh, why because internet is uh, more than 12 actually something like that I forgot yeah so anyway like because inter like YouTube was not broadcasting life you know this is news I mean a few years uh, only yeah. so yeah. Uh, uh, when I check about satellite it says you pay 20,000 18,000 minimum for the satellite uh, just this is for the timing you know and there is like a lot of cost every month so you would end like you know uh, with one hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars a year, and uh, God knows how much money for equipment, blah 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 blah. So all of this was really hard for a normal person like me, you know, who don't have the, such money to to do it, and it was impossible, and I failed. But then yep. YouTube open, Facebook open, you know, there's many. Like now, there's tele Telegram, there's there's endless, you know. I mean, there's many options you can go. So uh, uh, the internet broke. The borders and Muhammad nobody can protect him no more and look what the Muslim today they are doing when we you know expose uh, Islam they go and they flag our videos and this is the only way yeah. they can fight us you know because they cannot refute us they cannot debate us so what we do uh, but we they're flag. getting very weak uh, uh, yeah they are uh, for sure this is a weakness they're getting a weakness. very very weak yeah, yeah. And, but this uh, is for our benefit sorry to interrupt you but yeah they're getting very weak and uh, your videos and most of the videos that is going on right now like most of uh, like uh, like uh, people that they're growing and they, they they have knowledge and they read and so so on so they they, they get this knowledge where there is wrong and uh, there is good and bad right so and especially like your videos it's like it's uh, inspiring for for those people that, that have no clue about islam yeah. And you, you actually explain it perfectly and, and everything you say and you have proof. And I, I advise like all the Muslims, if they're listening right now, is is, the, is to, to actually listen. And uh, if they don't believe uh, yourself, there, there is there's books that they can go and read. And there are actually translations on, 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 you know, on I, the I, internet. I have, a, can... I have a mission for you. Yeah. Why you don't translate my books to Kurdish? I will, no problem. I will, okay. I will start translate. from the deception of Allah, you know. Start from the no and, and, I, and I promise you, as a gift from me to you and all the Kurdish people, is going to be for free. Well, I will thank you for that. I will, yes, I yeah. will publish it. I will if publish it in the I'm net for free. If I'm taking your permission, I will. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I will publish it for free, as many books we did already for free. You know, my books now is you know I don't know how many languages I cannot count, but almost not a single. I mean. There's the major languages, and soon we will have the Chinese radio too. So, and we have it in Russian. You know, actually, I was uh, somebody told me a teacher from uh, uh, from uh, you know uh, speaking uh, Russian speaking country, and they were talking about something. They mentioned something about Islam, and then a guy he said to the teacher, "Oh, you should watch a guy. His name is a Christian prince, <laughs> all the way in Russia." You know, so yeah, and uh, the funny, yeah, like it was, it was a, a funny. Uh, how the internet changed everything so here we go like I don't know where are you you know I mean how what far how far the distance 
but the internet make people gather from everywhere uh, actually number one people who uh, watch my videos most of them is from Indonesia you know I think Indonesia yes. is number one country and that's telling you how much people are hungry for the truth you know so uh, yes. let us see let us see uh, let us hope that maybe in six or eight months from now or maybe a year you will text me back in Skype and say hey I have the file ready for a translation for the first book oh so I took your so since I have your permission I will I will do that for sure so. uh, well thank you very much and I believe all the Kurdish people will thank you for doing such a thing and for well, sure well, thank you. you know we keep yeah. we keep the information about the person you know totally unknown actually I don't know you anyway I was. I thought you are a Muslim calling me to, to fight with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can never fight you, and I, I would advise everyone just to watch your videos because they cannot like they cannot debate you. You are like one of a kind. You know, you 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 tell the truth for sure, and I I, I, I like I tell my Muslim friends too, like because I I actually tell them that I converted, so I'm not scared. I even said it right in my country. Like I, I sit down because you know why well, should I be scared? You know I, I believe in the Lord. You know I mean, if I die, then I will. I'll, I'll, uh, what's it called? Yeah, just uh, be careful I'm about be, your identity, yeah. and you know, just uh, you see, we we yeah. should be smart. Uh, not, yes, it's not yeah. about being coward. No, it's about being smart, right? Yes. Yeah. Like you yeah. don't go to Al Qaeda and say, "Hey, I know I became a Christian." You don't do that. You know, there's no reason, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so yeah. we have to be smart and we have to be vigilant and you know and we have to be wise in what we do and what we say. Well, I'm so glad that you called me, our friend. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, that's it. Uh, and thank you for answering. And hopefully, if you could like uh, talk a little bit about how Islam like talks about Antichrist, if you could, if you had time yeah, sure. or in maybe your other maybe videos, the, maybe or... the coming video or maybe after we finish this one. You know, or maybe tomorrow we will see. I will. I will remember your request. For sure. Okay. For sure. Right. Thank Th you so much. Thank you for answering. Thank you. I'm sorry for that being was... being aggressive on you because uh, you know I'm ready for. War. Oh no no, <laughs> no no I know I know I know your life, man. I know how what you're going through every yeah. day. No, every, everything okay. is good for me, by the way. I mean, you see, <laughs> the, uh, the, when they when they make a threat or they call me names or they make videos, I laugh because all those things actually work for my benefit. Even when they flag me, you see, I notice maybe Muslim do not know when Muslim they flag my videos, I get more support from the Christians. Very simple, it worked very good. You know, you know, I complain yeah. that Christians are not really doing the work they should do. I complain they are not making enough comment. I complain they are not even making enough download and spreading. But the second they flag me, things work differently. Second, suddenly everybody is going to work, you know? So they, even when they do that, they are supporting me and work, it worked very good. Uh, I'm, I'm a Muslim, he was trying to attack me, uh, so he posted my book and he was asking Muslim to flag my book in Amazon. And then suddenly the book, the sales of my book increased so crazy, and I could not understand why. I mean, like what happened? You know, <laughs> like what happened? Well, it's not, you know, like yeah, like what happened? Yeah. Why everybody is buying the book? You know, <laughs> I mean, what, what? I yeah, it was a Muslim who is really he supported me without knowing. So anyway, so you know, God is good, and uh, you know, the more they 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 fight, you know. Uh, uh, a Muslim defending Islam is like somebody standing in a quicksand. You know the quicksand, right? The Rimal Yes. So this yes. is what they do. They they use their feet yeah. too much, and the more they use yeah. their feet, the more they sink down. And now we find that there is a hole in the narrative. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, my friend. Thank Absolutely. you very much for Absolutely. calling. Thank you. God yeah. bless you, you and uh, say uh, you know hello from me. Shalom to your family and your. I don't know if you're married or not, your mother, your whatever, who is your yeah, family, became a Christian. Yeah, uh, my son is 12 months. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm so happy for you and your family that you became a Christian, all of them. Thank you for calling. Thank you so much. God bless Thank you. Take you so care. Much. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. God bless. I, you know, I, I thought the score that she is going to call me to 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 get like he, he want to debate me and I was excited for the, for what would happen. But, you know, it turned to be like this guy, he just left Islam and he's excited just to share with us his experience wonderful wonderful person yeah thank you for calling and here we go we got a new translator for the kurdish uh, the kurdish 
you know, uh, uh, the story of Adam, going back to the story of Adam, you know, the story of Adam in the, in the Islamic religion is very weird. As an example, that uh, there's a story that Adam, when Shaitan, he met him first time in the heaven, which is very funny, uh, he took him around and then uh, the Shaitan, he noticed that uh, Adam is empty from inside. And then he noticed that he is a created. <laughs> so if he's full, <laughs> I mean, Muhammad, he have a lot of imagination. This guy, I don't know. This guy, he have a, he's a cartoonist by himself. Uh, this is a story here. When Allah fashioned Adam in paradise, He left him as He like him to leave. What does that mean? Just don't ask. Don't ask. Then Iblis removed around him to see what actually was and when he found him hello from within he recognized that he had been created <laughs> with this <laughs> i mean this shaitan is so silly i look at this shaitan look so he saw adam first time he start walking around him walking around him, around him, around him. And then he discovered that this guy is created. He is hello. And he is uh, the created from this person. And he would not have control of himself. Bingo. <laughs> but regardless of this stupid story, you know, forget about it. Let us go back to the verse in the Quran, which is where the stupidity come. So when Allah, he created Adam, and uh, uh, he said to the ad, to the angels, "I'm going to create a caliphate, but you cannot use the word caliphate for something. Nobody lived there yet. You know what I mean? Caliphate is you inherit after somebody die. So Adam inherited the heaven from who? Not to forget the mention here, the story." that the angel they said to Allah that are you going to spread are you going to create somebody who will spread uh, bloodshed and and, mis and mischievement how the angels they knew and then Allah he said to them I know what you know not which means they are liars and then he said to them well give me the you know he taught Adam the names and he told the angels tell me the names of those things if you are truthful which means Allah accusing every single angel to be a liar and Adam would not do mischievement and later we find that Adam raided mischief and, and Allah was a stupid. So I'm not going to stay longer here. Just I wanted to share this video with you. And I want, I'm going to wait for the comment from the Muslims to see what they want to say about this story. If you are truthful, is Allah accusing every single angel to be a liar? Yes, he is. How can that be? Then how you call Jibreel Holy Spirit if he is a liar too? Because the angels, they said that. And if Allah is going to create Adam to inherit the earth, who was living on earth before Adam? Especially if we know that Muhammad, he said that Allah created the earth or the dust in Saturday, and then he created the mountains uh, in Sunday, etc., etc. And then he created uh, Adam Friday afternoon, which means there's nobody there. Nobody there at all. So Adam inherited the earth from who? And how Allah, he accused the angels to be a bunch of liars. And he said to them, if you are truthful, what kind of God he speak in such a language? And what kind of angels he have if they are a bunch of liars? Because if the angels are liars, then who is the truthful? And that include Gabriel. Thank you for being here short video as much as we can so we can see the comment please leave your comment and don't forget to subscribe or give it a like or dislike whatever you want but it's very important for me to see the comment of muslims and christians i like to see people thinking i don't like people who they are lazy sitting in their couch they don't even have time to move their fingers i mean come on you have a brain and i'm sure your brain can work use it or you will lose it like muhammad all right if you want to get the versions, if you are a Muslim, get the versions, work for it. You know, you want to get the version by not posting a comment. You have to tell me what kind of God he accuses angels to be untruthful liars. And Adam, he will not do mischievement when the angels are right. Adam, he did mischievement and his children, they did mischievement and Allah was wrong. What kind of God he 
can be wrong like this. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless the Kurdish people and this, the family of this gentleman who called us. He is our brother in Christ. Until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Thank you. Take care.